just want to encourage every black woman and male to continue to break barriers in all of these industries because our faces will be seen and our voice will be heard. Oftentimes, black reporters and black outlets are pushed to the end and unable to get the proper interview that they need. Well, tonight, Holly Berry interviewed with everybody. I was the only black woman on the carpet and there was only one black male. As soon as they got in front of Lamar and myself, her PR said that she had no time to speak to us. And they began to walk away. A group? One group? Because we're doing group print. And they're already starting at the theater. You know, I prepared all day. I was super excited. Who doesn't want to talk to Holly Berry? You know what I mean? And she looked at me and she looked at Lamar and said, No, you guys are going to have me skip. I can't skip my brother and my sister. And she turned back around and walked right up to us. And we interviewed her. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why I got emotional and I still am, but I take so much pride being black and being one of the only black faces in so many spaces that I'm in. And I just felt like for her to turn around. Uh, Lamar Dawson. Um, I just like the opportunity. I have a newfound respect for <laughs> It was hard, and, you know, I never worked that hard. I just wanna encourage every black woman and male to continue to break barriers in all of these industries because our faces will be seen and our voice will be heard. Holly Berry, Holly Berry. Now this clip melted my heart for obvious reasons. Shout out to Holly Berry for being fair to everyone on the carpet. Now I grew up in church, okay? So every now and again, when situations happen, it does remind me of things that I learned in my early childhood years at Sunday school. The situation reminded me of Psalms 118.22, which reads, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Back in the Bible days, honey, builders would reject stones and they would pick stones. The most important stone was the cornerstone, which which will go on the corner of the building. Not every stone could be the most important stone, okay? Some stones gotta get rejected. But this story reminded me of that quote in the Bible because it's like, she was the rejected stone, right? And then Holly Berry saw her and was like, no, 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 no. This is the stone I need to talk to right here. And now her story is spreading. She's getting more eyes on her brand. So in the end, she ended up being the most important stone, although Holly Berry's PR agent tried to make her the least important stone. You feel me? You feel, you feel where I was going with the stones? Now, black people have been speaking about diversity or the lack thereof in the industry. And this is a big topic for us. You know, people like to say we complain. Oh, stop complaining. Oh, you know, build your own this and make your own that. And I absolutely agree and encourage black people to create our own spaces. And at the same time, we do have to hold these people accountable for not being diverse, especially if our dollars are going there and especially if they're taking blackness and profiting off of it. Now, Halle Berry is talented, hands down, one of my favorite actresses. She gets into her role, and you can't tell her nothing else. I am my role. Period, Pooh. And Halle Berry has been deemed the most beautiful black woman in the world, which, I mean, honestly, that's that's a separate video. We're not going to do that right now, okay? We're just not. You know, and even though she fell into some controversy when she played Storm, a character who was originally deep dark chocolate and just keeps getting lighter over time that didn't stop the actress from speaking out about the lack of diversity within the industry now Halle Berry has been crowned the first black actress to win an Oscar it's for the women that stand beside me Jada Pinkett Angela Bassett Vivica Fox and it's for every nameless faceless woman of color that now has a chance because this door tonight has been opened now, Holly Berry is someone that I see as an ally. She knows that she has privilege within the industry, being biracial, being the more ac acceptable black, being the black that is considered the most beautiful. She knows that she has privilege and she uses her privilege to stand up and say, listen, this is for all the women of color who don't get to stand up here and win awards that they, they damn sure do deserve. This is for the stones that have been rejected.
Now, the list of black people who have won Oscars is incredibly short compared to the substantial amount of black talent we see on television every day. But it's so important for these stars, these actors, these actresses, these rappers, these singers, these athletes. It's so important that their team also represent the people who support them. Like, there's nothing wrong with having white people on your team. But if you have all white people on your team as a person of color, you need to really step back and reevaluate. Are there other qualified people that can do the job that are maybe more relatable, that look like the faces of the people that put dollars in your pocket? I don't know. Like, even sometimes when I look at basketball games, it's just like, you know, a bunch of black guys running up and down the court shooting baskets and a bunch of white guys on the side taking notes. The shit just looks weird to me. I don't know. As a celebrity, you just have to be aware of everyone. So shout out to Holly Berry for making sure that those stones were not rejected and those stones turned out to be the most important stones. So yes, we need diversity in front and behind the camera. Don't just push black faces in our face and swear that the industry is diverse. No, what's going on behind the scenes? How are y'all treating black photographers and black videographers and black interviewers and black publicists? How are y'all treating these people behind the scenes? Okay, we're going to get into all of that on this channel. So make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this situation. See you in the comment section. Bye. She looked at me and she looked at Lamar and said, no. You guys are gonna have me skip. I can't skip my brother and my sister.